general feelings of carpenters of color was that we're being discriminated against even within the union. To better their lives, workers needed unions, and union agreements didn't come without struggle. A series of hard-fought strikes by largely immigrant workers woke many people up to the realities of continuing discrimination and the problems posed by systemic racism. There was a lot of resistance. Uh, often you heard that we don't have any problems and why you're raising a can of worms and when we don't have any problems. And so um, from those experiences, I, I, I gathered that it must have been very difficult for workers of colors to participate fully um, in their unions. As workers of color became a larger segment of the workforce, it was natural that within workplaces, new leaders would emerge. Another kind of challenge would have to be met. Across the labor movement, workers of color were posing questions about how the top positions failed to reflect the changing workforce. The solution was to organize. We made the breakthrough at the OFL. So we decided that the next target is the CLC. We want to see minority representation at the CLC level. Uh, by the end of the convention, we had two seats. So those are important steps, I think, that we need to acknowledge. A long history of linking the struggles of workers and communities has been the basis of our anti-racist and equity agenda. And as we celebrate the diversity of our city, and the power of working people to shape their own future, this story will continue. The fundamental value of this movement is equality. And difficult as that may be to achieve, that we stand clearly on the side of fighting for social justice for all citizens, not just the ones who belong to a movement. How do we create opportunities and moments, such as the, the Labour Council's Workers of Colour Conference? The labour movement is the one social movement in society that um, can make change to the benefit of all workers.